guys what the hell is that in the water like what the what the heck is that oh my god I think that's a mermaid I think I'm seeing a mermaid like honestly what's up um welcome back to my channel you know it's your girl Zina and I am going to be vlogging today vlog as you see in the title um I was asked to do a video a vlog basically a video of all the ruin of the old pump house in Ken village so I'm actually on my way there I'm all alone and I wish I had company, I wish I had someone to take with me, but oh man, no, I don't have anybody. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now. I've been like hesitant to go because because I'm have to be like going on my own. And I I don't know if I'm gonna be taken away by mermaids today. But um let's do this. Alright, let's do this, let's go. Let's get this vlog together. In this vlog, you guys are going to see the ruin of the whole pump house and where the old dam used to be and exactly where the mermaid lives that killed the man that was fishing. And that's where he went to fishing and got caught the mermaid scale. So I'm going to show you guys. They are so, you know, ruins. So here I am at the Bagwalk power station located in Ken Village. In 1904, it was the largest pipe the, in the world. 6,200 feet long, 8 feet in diameter, weighing 1,700,000 pounds with 260,000 rate all in it together. So yes guys, I am here. me to, to come here it's pretty pretty scary guys make sure so to make that the video here get a mi okay at least a thousand thumbs up real quick because this is not easy for me to come here look at this place look like look look behind me like what the heck oh my god okay let's let's start viewing this place okay guys so basically, with, this is the, the end where the river went with to the road. So let's, let's walk this out, guys. Okay, guys, so let's go back into history of what actually took place here at the Bagua power station while it was abandoned. So the story that I've found, I've Googled it on Google, and this is a story from the Gleaner Company from them time there. So let's go into the story guys let's get back into let's go back into history so the early morning of june 24 1904 don clerk and crispy in spanish town st catherine and other areas outside of kingston men and women were lined up waiting to catch their tram to work as usual so a tram is us is um something like a, a train but it didn't have any side so you did just jump into it and have you sit down and it would take you on these lines that would take you to, to, to your designated destination in those days so the tram to work as usual they waited until they realized it was not coming the lucky ones caught rides on buggets and wagons and the unlucky ones they set it out on foot no one was quite sure what had happened, only that they had been a temporary delayed. That would soon be fixed. By the time 8 o'clock rolled around, while rumors had begun to circulate about a horrible accident at the Bagua power station that had affected the tram car system run by the West Indian Electric Company. 
it was said that upon to up up to 80 men who had been cleaning the slot and the debris in the eight foot long cast iron pipe also known as a flume that carry water from the Rio Kobe River to the power station had been washed into a turbines washed into turbines and been washed um had been drawn so right there so the news has been spread that something had happened people have been drawn man have been caught into it yes so let's get into the, the nitty-gritty of the story people the collection of such debris was not uncommon nor was needed for it to be removed so as not to be inhabit the flow of the water and therefore the hydroelectric power nothing like this had ever happened before by nine o'clock railway station newspaper office anywhere information could have possible be found were packed with anxious inquiries much later the only news to to be had that 33 coffins were sent to bagwalk by train so as you may say the the coffins coffin people to put the bodies in was being sent to Bagwak to to receive these bodies right and it says no so also in the video what you're seeing is the the other side of the the building and those are the I think those are actually the the tanks that the the the, the the pipe that was sucking the water from the river because remember you know it used to take water from the raya Kobe river and send it through so i think those are the one the pipe that was sucking the water i got that right all right in bagua by this time crowd had gathered at the power station according to dr hamad who was called to the scene it was one he will never forget people as long as he live man woman children lying on the ground rolling over clutching and full of grassy stone and earth and screaming loud in the loss of extremity of the mind agony as they scream for the as they search sorry for their loved ones who seems to be lost forever so this is where family members found out that their loved ones have been drowned right what Oh, man, this is crazy. All right, let's go more into the story. At that time, 33 were believed to be dead and 17 missing. Right, guys, people? A few hours later, it was confirmed that 17 had managed to escape through a manhole near to the dam itself at 1 o'clock in the morning. So back then they used to get up early before the next day and do these type of work. Oh my. 61 man had been down, gone down into the huge pipe located about 15 yards from the power station. The pipes curved slightly upwards and sharply downwards running directly into the power station as I showed you at the corner side. So obviously I must somewhere off there so the man them were it the man encounter about a foot of water this is what take this is what happened now the man man's and men encounter um about a foot of water and got down to work as usual Colin McDonald, one of the supervisor in speaking to the gleaner reported at the scene explained that within an hour of going into the pipe he felt the water level rise but he didn't think it was anything to worry about it didn't it couldn't have been coming from the dam because the dam was closed it was always closed when the man were working in the pipes so I'm safe. But the water kept rising slowly but surely. And by 4 a.m. in the morning, peeps, 
the man started to panic. All of the man them start panic. Okay? Their supervisor, a uh, uh, man called Mr. Dos Parel Zella. I don't even know if it, that's how it's pronounced. Apparently tried to keep his man calm by telling them there was plenty of time to get out. There was no exit closer to the dam, but his man panic and chore their touch. Tell me people, these people were really panicking. Tell them chore them touch, you mean in the back lamp? Oh, they're gonna see in the the, 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 the pipes now. Oh boy. Into the water. So that they were all covered in darkness. Same thing. So it was said a man appeared at the manhole with a torch lighting the way and calling to the man. I could have would have I mean I think I'd be almost an angel. Twenty eight managed to get out. In the over 20 minutes it took for the water to fill the pipes. If they had listened and remained calm, sight reported reveal that 20 minutes could have saved 200 men instead of 33. So yes guys, that is the end of the story of basically what take place and how the man them die. So let's get right back into the video of me actually being on the scene and doing all of this vlog for you guys sad enough 33 men died like it's crazy 17 got saved i am really and you know it's sad it's so sad it's sad but then oh but the good thing was the 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 electrical power station that was run by the the West Indies um the West Indies Electrical Company they they basically help out the family members with funeral arrangement and gave them um money and such for their loss you know that's really sad that's a sad story that we have in history history so many person died one time because that's why i always tell people panic will kill you and when you're in a situation try not to panic just like i said if you're driving if vehicle go over at flatbridge and if you're calm even if you're in an accident car accident just try to remain calm mentally because that will can save you me myself has when i was 16 15 years old I was in a bus accident and believe you me i did not know the bus was actually turning over because the whole time i was screaming driver stop the bus because i hear when the tire blow out i heard when the tire blow out and all i kept saying was driver you're not stop the bus because i know if your tire blow out you're supposed to stop the bus and guys i was so calm you see when i the bus finally flick 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 till it stopped i was upside and down with my hair up in the hair like when a cat gets shock in a pear tree yes so let's get let's let's come on with me on the journey yeah, as you can see guys there's a tree in this thing here let me see if i can walk over here so hope i don't fall And this is Raya Kobe River, or Rio Kobe River. Yeah, this is it. So some part of the river is rough, and some part is more just like just slowly flowing. And I think this part of the river is rough, rough because as you can see, it's shallow and it's more stony. But right there, definitely come like when you got blue hole. Yeah, because sections of blue hole is like this.
you know what they say about cotton tree I don't, I'm not sure if this one is a cotton tree they, these tree loves to be against rivers you all know that guys look at this I don't know what the heck this is itch. all itch on me and thing what the, uh, one of them plant them juki juki skin it shop from the tights That is. I've never seen anything like that before. As you know, I'm sweating because I'm walking and I'm vlogging this. And I'm looking and I, I, I guys, I'm looking. I'm actually vlogging and I'm looking in the water. I'm looking if I see anything like mischievously moving or anything. You know, because we want to see one, right? They say if you're looking for one you won't see one but if you're not looking for one you will see one so I'm not looking for one I'm just vlogging if one appears that's good that would be good so we're at the river and we're vlogging let's get a thumbnail let me do it in glasses the river Oh, nice, man. Yeah, peeps, I am doing this for the vlog. Walking my ass, 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 ass. I'm modeling for you all. I'm modeling for you all. I'm modeling for you all. Anyway, one man live over here, so we do marble tile. I am going to live next to the river so I'm gonna find out if he's there and maybe I can ask him some questions maybe he have one and two stories can tell me who knows I am going over there but he drive a car so if his car is not there that means he's not there maybe he's not there I'm not gonna stop guys I'm gonna call let me call first Like in there, yeah, peeps. Let's move, guys. I am leaving because he's not there. So, I am actually soon reaching to the community of Ken Village where persons live. And, um, yeah, guys, because I'm walking on foot and thing, the girl is walking, 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 walking. Walk it like a tuck it. Walk it like a tuck. Walk it. Yeah guys. I'll be right back. So guys, this is what today water tanks look like. Right? And when I heard about that story about persons so much man dying in a tank, I couldn't believe it. Because look at that. No 33 man can hold in a dot. But obviously there were huge tanks as you see in the video. So and as you can see, that rim in there, that was the size that, because you can see that that was that area right there. That's where the huge tanks used to be, where the man them did die from. But they changed it out and used these smaller ones. So yeah, guys, now it makes sense to me. Okay, guys, while I was editing this video, this is a new editor, so... um. And I didn't quite understand it and I couldn't go back to a video that I didn't add in while I was putting in the videos but we're gonna reach up to where the dam is the old dam you're gonna see a picture very bushy around there where the the dam was now it's no longer using that dam has been abandoned for years now okay and you're gonna see a, a previous picture 
when it was building in 19th oh, century all right so um so yes we're gonna it was a little bit bushy around the area and we we basically couldn't basically see the 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 area itself good so you guys are just gonna see a small clip like i said a piece of the video was supposed to add in and while editing it it didn't put in by the time i realized it was not there and i can't go back to to pick a video pick the, to search and find out the video to put there but yes that's exactly where the man in the story by the name of cut that went fishing shoot off a mermaid scale that's where he went to fishing and yeah he went back there weeks later and the mermaid drowned him so one of these days me and some man was working fixing the road and they said that's where that's why i went back there to video it but guys i don't know i don't know if i can put it in in another video but it cannot go in in this video so i decided to voice over this part and to let you guys know that you wouldn't watch a video and feel confused at the end and say oh the video seems so and so so yeah guys um one more thing if you're new to my channel please subscribe please hit that notification bell please to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section and ideas that you think you want me to do and have yourself a blessed day enjoy the rest of the video but remember i warned you how it's gonna end okay guys have a blessed day. there in a short moment i'm wondering if i came off the bus too soon this place is like so bushy oh my gonna see anything in all this bush okay guys i hope the summer should have come off what the heck yes guys so we are actually at another ruin of the old pump water pipe areas back in the day day as you can see the space is still there and after 33 person died they decided that they're not going to make those huge pumps water pipes they they decided to use smaller ones but as you can see here the the space is still there guys okay we almost reached at the dam and i think i'm running out of space on my phone let's go guys so these are more ruins of the old pump tanks water pipe that they used to use back then guys i'm getting closer to where the dam is i wonder if you hear that that's basically the fall where the old dam used to be the water is running over it's heavy right there and yeah we're gonna gonna try what is what is yeso what is this is where i was supposed to actually come off but I just judge the place. Guys, what the hell is that in the water? Like what the what the heck is that? Oh my god, I think that's a mermaid. I think I'm seeing a mermaid. Like honestly guys, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? OMG!